Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna give you my best tips to be more attractive. Now, please understand, this is not about being vain. This is just about having enough respect for yourself to take good care of yourself and to look good. And let's be honest, you wanna look good, you wanna look professional, the best that you can for work or for your girlfriend, for your wife. And of course, they will appreciate it. If you don't take good care of yourself in grooming, styling, taking care of your health and so forth, then people will make assumptions about you. We know you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but people do it all the time. They look at someone, they make assumptions based on the way that they dress, their hair, everything. And so when they look at you and you don't just make the effort, they will think, man, you're probably one of those guys that don't really respect yourself. You don't care about anything. You might look more unprofessional at work, less approachable, lazy, uneducated, sloppy and dirty. No, that's not what you want to look like to others. You got to take care of yourself in the way you carry yourself, the way you present yourself to others. Take care of your body because it is a temple. So in this video, I'm going to give you my best 25 tips to be more attractive. Not just look attractive, to be more attractive. Let's get to it. Get a good skincare routine. Some guys, they don't care about skincare routines. So some people who, who are 30, they look like they're 60. Some guys, they've got problems with blackheads. Others, they got problems with pimples. We all have different skin issues. Look, your face represents who you are. And over time, your face will take on and start to show all the harsh conditions it went through over the years. So just start to use a very good skincare routine that will help your face to look clean, fresh and healthy. I personally use Geology, which is a personalized skincare routine. And I'll also add some other good options for you in the video description below. Be more self-aware and empathetic towards others. A lot of guys these days are very selfish, arrogant, and you can see they don't really care about other people. It's so unattractive. This self-absorbed attitude is the most unattractive thing in the world. If that's you, at least you know why people try to avoid you like the plague. It doesn't matter how much money you have, how good you look, how good you dress. If you have a bad attitude, you will always look ugly to other people. You have to be unselfish. Think about the feelings and interests of other people a lot more. That will make you a decent human being and more attractive to other people. Choose the right haircut for your face shape. This is more important than you think. Let me give you some examples. An oval face shape might look good with most hairstyles because it is proportioned well. While on the other hand, a square face shape might work better with an undercut or a quiff. Now a heart shape looks good with a quiff as well and maybe a textured fringe. And if you have a round face, stay away from round shapes, curly hair. Instead, try longer hair on top and shorter hair on the sides. And then if you have an oblong face shape, try a slick back style or a side part or even a man bun if you feel adventurous. If you wear too much hair on top, man, your face is going to look super, super long. Like a pompadour. It's definitely not going to work. Now, if you're happy with your haircut, you need to learn to use the right products. There's a huge difference between gel, pomade, wax, hairspray and clay. And hey, if you're not sure which products to use, which you can trust, again, I'll add my best options for you in the video description below. Now, for a slick back, for example, you can use gel. But if you want a nice crew cut that's short on the sides with a side part, it'll be better just to use pomade or wax. And maybe a little bit of hairspray, depending on your hair thickness. Grow a nice beard. I didn't even know that I could grow this beard. 
you just have to try to see what kind of beard you can grow. A lot of guys feel that their face, well, it doesn't look so attractive when they look in the mirror. The symmetry is not all there. If that's you, what you can do is grow a cool beard style that will fit in with your face shape. Some men look a lot better with a cool beard. It's like they, <laughs> they were born just to have a beard. What you gotta do is just grow it out and try a few different styles. I made a video about different beard styles that you can check out after this video. Don't go overboard when styling your clothes. Look, from all the years of modeling that I've been doing, I've realized that a lot of designers, brands, they just bring out new trends, new things because, well, they wanna make money, number one. Number two, they get bored of the current trend. So they just develop new ones. Never go for trends because everyone will do it and then you won't stand out. And trends, of course, it will always pass. So me, personally, I stick to basic, good quality clothes that will never go out of style. That saves you a lot of money and you look good. And when it comes to putting on different outfits, you gotta try not to look like someone that's trying too hard. In all honesty, the people who dress the best, they look like they just happened to put these clothing styles on and they look cool in it because they don't look like they've been obsessing over it. And remember, it's not just about what you wear, it's how you wear it. Improve your posture. You gotta develop a new habit of walking, sitting, standing, everything you do, do it with a good straight posture. Why? Because then you'll automatically look more confident and attractive. Cindy Ann Peterson said, good posture is important for health reasons, as well as for your appearance, because it reflects your personal attitude. This is so true, just think about it. Whenever you walk somewhere, for example, the mall, when you walk past people, everyone walks different the way they carry themselves. You know, this one, he walks a little bit more of a, with a funky, interesting attitude. The other one walks very straight. The other one is like slouching. It tells people, about your attitude, who you are. Now, a good tip, if you strengthen the muscles in your back, it will definitely help you with good posture. So don't skip those back days in the gym. Take care of your shoes and clean them. You know, I don't understand guys that are so lazy that they don't clean their shoes. I mean, if you walk around in dirty shoes all the time, people will think you are dirty. Apart from making you look better, cleaning and polishing your shoes every now and then will make the shoes last longer and save you more money as well. Never ever have bad breath. Nothing puts people off as much as bad breath. When you come close to someone, you talk to them and you just smell, oh, Ah, uh, uh. and the worst thing, people with bad breath, they usually don't even realize it because they're used to their own smell. That bad breath, dying smell. Mm. A lot of guys out there brush their teeth two to three times a day, which is great, but they forget about their tongues. You know, when you have that funky <laughs> feeling uh, here in your mouth, it's usually a sign of bad breath. There's this uh, ewy stuff. On your, on your tongue, ewe stuff. I don't even know where that comes from. Anyway, this, this colorant kind of white ugh, stuff. Scrape it off, clean it off. And if you're away from home and you can't go and brush your teeth, at least carry some mints with you. I always keep some mints in my car. I use Fisherman's Friend because I like their name, because I like fishing, and mints work. Plus, you can get them sugar-free. Always just dress a little bit better than the situation requires. Never overdress because then you'll feel weird and never underdress because then you'll be the odd one out. And always remember, whatever you wear, wear it with humble confidence because nothing looks better than that. Always wear matching socks. If it comes to socks and you're not sure what color to wear, it's easy, just stick to the basics and just wear the same color as your pants. And please, 
throw those socks away with those holes in them. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And that goes for underwear as well. Eat healthy. This should be common sense by now, guys. You gotta take care of your body. Your body will thank you, you'll feel better. Not only that, you will look better as well. And if you don't know how to eat healthy, then I'll add some good videos for you in the video description that you can check out. You know, you only have one life. Don't waste it by eating unhealthy food. A lot of people these days, they get health issues, but it's their own fault. Just because they do not eat healthy. Start working out. Just like eating healthy, this is common sense, guys. To look good, to look more attractive, you gotta work out. You have to get in shape to look healthy and more attractive. Not only will your body look better, but your face will also look more attractive. And you'll get back your jawline. Now, if you don't like working out, just try two days a week and just do certain exercises that you like. Some guys don't like running on the treadmill, but they like riding a bicycle or start a new sport that you like. Just get moving. Not only will you start to look good, you'll feel good, but you'll have more energy as well. And when you wear clothes, it'll look better on you as well. Have a basic pair of shoes for every occasion. Good looking quality shoes, but you don't need a whole closet full of shoes. All you need is great quality, good looking shoes that fit every occasion. I made a video about it that you can also watch after this video. And I'll list my favorite shoes for you in the video description if you want to check it out. Stop using gel. A lot of guys use gel, they just spike it. Well, you can use gel if you want a nice slick back look or you want to, uh, want to go to a formal event and you want to have that wet look. But for other occasions, if you want to have healthy looking hair, just use pomade or wax because then your hair will look more natural. And if you're struggling to style it, all you got to do is use something like sea salt spray before, use the blow dryer and then style it into the position you like. Then just use a little bit of the pomade or the wax and then a little hairspray for the final touches. Show someone that you are listening to them. And I mean physically show them, show them, look them in the eyes. Don't look at your phone, don't look away. Your body language also gives a lot away when you're not interested in someone. And then when you do that, they feel disrespected. Think about it for a moment. When you talk to someone and you realize, man, you're trying to talk to this person and they just, they don't care. They're not really listening. They're not focusing on anything you're saying. You feel disrespected, right? Well, that's exactly how they feel when you do it to them. And also never interrupt someone when they're talking. You know, when I was young, whew, my dad would give me a hiding almost. He would discipline me if I did it. I grew up with my dad teaching me how to be a gentleman. Today, most guys don't even care. It's so disrespectful. Respect other people. Give them the opportunity to have their say. And when they're done, then you can go and talk. When you go shopping, always bring an honest friend or even your girlfriend or wife with you when you go shopping for clothes. Why? Because you should never ask a salesperson hey how does this look does it look good is it too tight is it how does it look because they will always tell you it looks great sir man you need to buy this because they need to earn some money as well they need to make a living right so they will tell you anything you need to hear so that you will buy their product groom your ears and your nose look you might be young and you say ah, i don't have any hair well, the older you get, the more hair you will get. In places, you don't want them to grow. And you know, when I travel, I always see a lot of guys walking around with these hairs growing, just <laughs> peeking out of their nose. You can't even focus when you're in a conversation with them because you just stare at those hair. Nah, guys, get rid of it. Groom. Another tip, I feel like I almost don't have to say, but Let's do it, here it goes. 
improve your clothing style. It is true that the, well, in most cases, the clothes do make the man, especially when it comes to first impressions. Avoid clothes that are too tight for you and avoid clothes that are too big for you as well. And then you gotta wear the right clothes on the right occasions. Casual, smart, formal, outdoor and so forth. Be ready for every occasion. Always be friendly, always be kind and always be positive. Why? Because no one likes someone with a bad attitude. That's number one. Number two, there's something in psychology that's known as the halo effect. What is it? Well, it's basically a bias where you unconsciously take one aspect of somebody as a proxy for their overall character. So what does this mean? Well, it's when people make an assumption about who someone is their total personality, their attitude, who they are as a human being by looking at only one aspect. And there's been a lot of research studies on this. Research shows that people who are more kind, friendly, positive, they are rated as being more attractive than other people. Be yourself in all situations. Never lie about who you are and never pretend to be someone else. Let me explain it this way. Being an original is worth more than being a copy of someone else. Listen carefully. You can always improve yourself, all right? We always strive to be better than we are, we currently are, than who we were yesterday. But never pretend or try to be someone else because I've said this in, this in previous videos, but I'll say it again. You were never meant to be someone else. You are meant to be the only you in this world. Always use deodorant or antiperspirant. There's nothing worse than a guy smelling like sweat all the time. It's terrible. And most of the time they don't even realize it because they get used to the smell. Now I always use Nivea Invisible Black and White Antiperspirant. It works great and it doesn't leave any stains on my clothes. But antiperspirant is not enough to smell good. You need a good cologne that suits you. And when you find it, use it every day. Why? Because pretty soon people will identify the smell with you. Smile more. Guys, the world is already a hard place. A lot of people walking around with sad faces, serious faces. And uh, a lot of people just suck the life out of you because they're so negative. But if you smile more, you're positive, you look happy, you're like sunshine. You will draw people to yourself. Now, I don't mean a weird smile here, like creepy, no. Just an honest, genuine smile. A lot of young guys today, they don't wanna smile. They don't wanna wear that smile on their face because they think, man, They'll just look like a, a good guy. They want to be a bad, cool guy. But what you're not realizing is if you're trying to look cool all the time, you just look angry. You just look negative. It looks cool in movies, you know, when they have this cool attitude and this slow motion. Well, in real life, you can't walk in slow motion. <laughs> wear a smile because it's the best thing that you can wear on your face. Learn some manners. If your parents didn't teach you good manners to be a gentleman, then you gotta learn. It's one of the best things that you can learn in this world. It separates the boy from the man. Margaret Walker said, friends and good manners will carry you where money won't go. And Emily Post said, good manners reflect something from the inside, an innate sense of consideration for others and respect for self. It's true, isn't it? It's extremely off-putting when I see young guys or even older guys with no manners at all. You know when you're on public transport and you see a young guy sitting there on a chair and he's not giving space, he's not standing up asking an old lady to come and sit down. Or a guy who does not show his girlfriend or wife the respect she deserves. Their actions flow from their heart. So just imagine how black that heart is, full of selfishness. 
Be confident in who you are. Self-confidence. Have confidence in your identity. Believe in yourself. Self-confidence is very attractive. Very. Other people will believe in you. Why? Because if you don't have confidence in yourself, if you don't believe in yourself, you can't expect other people to do it. And here's something interesting that you need to learn. Confidence, self-confidence does not come from your achievements. It comes from knowing your identity, who you are and who God made you to be. All right, the bonus tip. Now this is super important because a lot of people in the world, it seems like they're forgetting this and it is so important because being attractive is not just about having a good face, about having an attractive, handsome face. It's about having an attractive mind. It's about having an attractive heart, an attractive soul. And please, if you're still young, always remember this. Having a kind and caring heart in a cruel world is not a weakness at all. It's a strength and it takes courage because you won't let the cruel world influence you. And if you won't let this cruel world affect you, then you are a warrior. And always remember this, life is short, so don't waste yours. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.